Good morning. The bucket hat's on. It's half 10 and I'm about to leave my accommodation. I did go this morning downstairs to get a cup of tea and a pastry, which really set me up. And then came up, showered, got ready. Be part of it, New York, New York. Today is the first day. Well, it's the first and only day I'm going to be able to like vlog because I start on a course tomorrow. So I might be able to do a little bit behind the scenes of the four day uh, course that I'm on. But I think this is the day. So I'm gonna take you guys around today and let's go and explore together. Have I got everything? I think I've got everything. I've got, let's just make that. I love that I'm the only one staying here, but this needs to be a little bit more. Day one, let's go. I hope I've got enough lip balm for the day. To be totally honest, I don't feel cool enough to be in this building, but let's just, let's just go with it really. Let's just be like, okay. This is my reality for a week. I'm edgy, I'm cool. Graffiti. This building is so hidden. So like the accommodation is inside there and you walk down an alleyway that looks like this. So when I arrived at 11 p.m. last night, yeah, I did, <laughs> I did think is this the right place, but it is. It's actually not that cold at all. Like it's, I've got two jackets on this holiday and this is my lighter of the two and it feels absolutely fine. It's future Leah doing a little voiceover because these clips ended up being quite loud and windy on the day. But just outside of my apartment, um, a walk down the street, I noticed, well, firstly I did notice Marshalls, but then I saw Cat's Deli, which had tourists outside of it because of the famous scene from when Harry met Sally, the you know what scene, which is a hilarious moment, um, was filmed in there. So that was really cool. I've turned down Ludlow street from cats and um cats diner and i the cats diner cats del delicatessen maybe it's an insult to say it wrong i didn't go in there was a massive queue but i think i probably will have to get a sandwich from there before i leave and at least it's right on the doorstep so yeah i'm now i'm now in what looks like quite a nice fit so i'm gonna look explore down here and yeah i think i think i do want a, a nice flat white and um, so i'm gonna go find that and then make a plan. I came across Ludlow House, which is one of the Soho houses in this cool building that used to be a gold leaf factory. So I thought, I'm gonna have my coffee here, write my journal, I'm trying to do daily at the minute. And I had a little nosy around and the building itself was beautiful. So it was a lovely place to chill, gather my thoughts and then on to shopping. I left something in my apartment, gotta go back and get my iPhone wire because my phone dies after like one hour of use, especially if I'm using maps all the time. So I'm going back to get it and then we're fully heading out. My God, a whole shop of duvet jackets. That's a bit of me. Oh my God, look at those gloves. Oh, I must go in. I hope it's not expensive. It looks it. It's called, what's it called? Puff. Puff. Super puff. It was amazing. It was so my vibe. They had a spaceship in there. I'm not sure what this was about, but the clothing, stunning, but just a bit out of my price range. Five staff members asked me if I was okay, and it was really nice, but also I, I couldn't, I didn't feel like I was allowed to touch anything without being a potential buyer. They were just like, do you need help? And I was like, oh, just let me out of here. Oh, Sephora. Ah! Okay, going to Sephora because there is something that um, I need to buy as a present for Atch's mum for Christmas, but you can't get it in the UK, so I'm gonna go straight there. I just remembered you can't walk between cars here, can you have to go find a crossing? Am I allowed to walk between the cars? Someone else has just done it. I found the product I was looking for. I've not tried this, but my mother-in-law swears by it. And do you know what I could spend forever in Sephora? It's addictive. I just met an iconic woman called Rachel in Sephora. She worked there and she was asking me loads of questions about the crown and we were chatting about Charles and Camilla for a really long time. Rachel, if you're watching this, I doubt you are, but if you are, you're amazing. Uniqlo. That's where my jacket is from today. I absolutely love this shop. So stunning. I think I'm on the best street. Second stop, Nike. Third stop, Lululemon. Fourth stop, food. This is insane. There's loads of floors and like, you can do like customization on trainers. I don't usually like the color purple, but that is really nice. The size inclusive models, the mannequins. I like, I like that. I think that's so good. 
I've come to TK, well, TJ Maxx to have a look around. And I'm not, so far I'm actually not that impressed. Maybe I'm not in a good one, but I'm not feeling, not feeling anything. No magic today. Right, I've taken a turn off Broadway. I'm gonna try and find Chinatown and also maybe a little stroll through Little Italy in case I want to eat Italian food and not Chinese food. Um, but I am feeling like having a bit of dim sum. Apparently Chinatown's amazing in New York, so I think I went there. Yes, I went there a few years ago when we met Josh and we did the hats and we were in Chinatown, but my memory is really bad of like streets and just map areas, so I'm relying on city mapper for pretty much every day. Well, I could be swayed by a very large bowl of carbonara. That could be that could be my destiny this afternoon for food. But something tells me I'll be feeling a bit lighter if I go for dim sum. Where am I? Where the hell am I? I just ended up Googling best dim sum in Chinatown, New York City. This is the one that came up. So House of Joy was a hit. I had some great dim sum, some Chinese tea couldn't find the Shanghai soup dumplings that I was really craving, but that's okay. I did get some custard buns, which was stunning, and then it was onwards. Okay, I finished at House of Joy. Now I'm gonna walk over to the Comedy Cellar, which is where, like, pretty much nearby where I'm doing the course, starting from tomorrow, and also where I'd like to go and watch a show tonight. So I'm gonna go try and walk over there. It has it has started raining, so I'm just gonna brave it, and if I see anywhere I can buy an umbrella, I might buy one. I've just walked to the comedy cellar and it's closed, it's locked, I think it opens like really much later tonight. I don't know what to do because it's throwing it down and I don't know where to hide and I'm not that close to where I live. So I don't know, my friend uh, who's on the same course as me is messaging me saying do I want to get food but I've just eaten in Chinatown so I don't know, I need to make a plan but this rain is not it's not lifting my spirits. I need to put my Spotify on, put some songs on that are gonna pump me up and change my mood. So I did find shelter. I met my friend at the restaurant, shared a, I think I had two glasses of red wine, which for me, lethal. I became absolutely fascinated by a secret hidden door, which looks like a wall, like a shelf wall. That is two glasses of wine, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm walking to um, an event that's actually been put on by uh, I think it's a tourism company. So I've been invited to something tonight. It's gonna be fun. I think there's bubbles. So from bot from wine to champagne. <laughs> God. Well, it's my first time walking around at night time. Now that lights have gone down, and the event is around here somewhere. So I'm just going to find it. I mean, I think it helps that I've had a bit of wine because I don't feel at all nervous. Oh, I think I found it. I think it's inside that building in there. Uh, we're so happy to have you. Um, we are a uh, jewelry brand that was started in Austin, Texas about 20 years ago by our amazing Kendra. She's still active with our company's creative director. I just want to say a huge thank you to Helena, who's one of my subscribers on here. You're amazing. Thank you so much for inviting me to this press event where I got to design my own piece of jewelry at the Kendra Scott color bar. It was so much fun. And I, I ended up wearing these earrings on New Year's Eve and they looked really glam. So thank you so much. I just left the event. I got a free pair of earrings. They're so cute. And uh, I'm walking home now, so I feel really jet lagged. I think it's like 2 a.m. in the UK. So I'm just gonna head straight back to where I'm staying and go to bed. Gosh, it, it is a long walk home and in the, the pissing rain. I'm in the edgy lift. Oh gosh, this is just not it. Um, in other news, I actually opened up a PO box last year but I haven't shared the details with anybody because I'm a fantastic YouTuber. So I've, I do sometimes get messages from members and from subscribers saying, oh, you know, I'd, I'd love to send you something, which still is, seems bizarre to me. So yeah, I can, I can share that address with you if you would like it, but I, I don't really know how long 
I will keep it open for just because um, they're quite costly and I've heard that they can be kind of, um, what is it called? Like you might not always receive the items that people send. So um, we're gonna test it out for a few months. Maybe I'll leave it open for three or four months, see how it goes and then I'll assess from there. Um, I'm very overwhelmed that people have said, oh, I'd love to send you a wedding gift. And I'm just like, that is actually mind blowing to me. So um, I have opened the PO box for, <laughs> surprise me, <laughs> I don't know. Please don't send a shit though, that would be really sad. Um, over and out guys, see you in the next one. Mwah. I, I look like trash, so sorry, it's just for the song. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Hearts will play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like a gay tarantella.